All right, hello guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, in this one, we're gonna see how uh, me and another one of my uh, friends who is not in the game yet, he joins later, his name is uh, Schreider, and uh, him and I will uh, coordinate to eliminate the enemy as effectively as possible. With that said, let's go ahead and skip all of this junk. Uh, as you can see, I am flying... If you look at the map... I took off, made a left turn, and now I'm flying behind these mountains here. I'm gonna fly all the way here. And close to the enemy airfield to make sure that I don't get flanked. And as I'm flying around like this, I will be looking into the center of the map. Identifying uh, my targets. Uh, that's the plan so if you look at the map on the right that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I'm gonna speed this up so that you guys don't have to watch a painful flight that's not important none of that is important none of that is important nothing happened there and this is where stuff starts happening I see that there is a dogfight going on in there and I have identified a MIG uh, MiG-15, I believe, or MiG-17. That guy climbing up, I know he's a MiG because of the shape. I can tell because it's a long body with the wings in the front of the fuselage. So, I immediately go up to him and... Murder. That was nice. That was very nice. So, that was the first kill in the game. Hmm, that's weird, why is my camera doing this? It's like it's having trouble locating my plane. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Anyways, um... I will continue to look for targets and I see this IL-28 who looks like he's going to engage uh, our base so I immediately want to neutralize him and how do I do that? With one of those guys. Will this missile hit? Yes he will and he's dead. He's very much dead. So, by doing that, we effectively got rid of a bomber who could have potentially killed A, some of our friends, and B, uh, more ground units that would speed up the game. Uh, and by that I mean the game end. Uh, so, I have a couple of... I don't know what you guys might want to call this. I call it rules, or self-rules, or... They're my own kind of... Uh, set boundaries to do certain actions in the game uh, and what I'm trying to tell you is if I see a bomber okay, in simulator and that bomber is landing or taking off I will kill it I will kill it even if it's stopped in the runway because those things will end the game and it's very annoying for all the players sometimes I do kill fighters and that's a crappy part of me. Uh, sometimes I can't help myself. <laughs> um, I'm a very aggressive uh, pilot and I can be defensive as well. And sometimes both. But yeah, if I see a bomber, no exceptions. I will kill the bomber as soon as I can. I will not give it a chance to, uh, to bomb the bases. I will eliminate it in any way I can. So right now what I'm doing, if you look at the map on the right, uh, I'm basically scanning the base. I'm making sure that there's no bombers taking off uh, Or even even fighters. I'm making sure that there are no fighters or like MiG-19 PTs uh, So I'm I did a quick check near the base or near their base and then I moved on Right now as you can see I'm staying on the edges of the map uh, as much as I can I'm staying on the edges and Every, every now and then I go into the center and I look for a target uh, and if I see one I engage it if I don't 
I go to the other side on the mountains and then I do the same thing. I repeat the pattern. I stay in the mountains and I look towards the center of the map. I stay hidden, I stay well covered. I will never get killed like that and neither will you. So let's continue with this video and see what happens. Right now I'm searching for targets. And I see that guy up there. Now, I want you guys to notice something that happens here. I, and you will see that in a second. It's a MiG-15. Just listen closely. Any time now. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the, all right, you guys cannot hear it in the video. But basically what happened is, and let me show you in a second here. That's what happened. I ran out of fuel. <laughs> I ran out of fuel and I had just engaged a uh, MiG-15. Or tried to. So I'm looking behind me now. At this point I'm panicking and I'm saying to myself. Well I'm pretty much dead. But I didn't die. I actually made it back to the base. Uh, I want you guys to look up here where my mouse is. This rear view mirror is a lifesaver. This thing is... Amazing. See that right there? That's a plane. You can see the planes. Very bad quality. But you know it's a plane. And because of that, I knew that there was a plane behind me. He may have lost track of me or something because uh, he didn't kill me. So I had to glide my way back to the base and land without engine or without power. So I had to make my first run count. Landing the F-100 Super Saver can be a little bit challenging at first because it can retain energy. It's insane how much energy it can retain. It's so hard to lose speed on this thing. So right now, I know I have no engine, so if I miss the runway, I'm screwed. So I'm shooting all my rounds, making sure I can stop. Um, and I did. That was a very pleasant landing, actually. Scary experience. I would rather have that not happen. I don't know what that was, that guy in front of us, he was shooting for some reason. So let's get off the ground, this part's not important, nobody cares about me on the ground. Uh, so let's speed this up, speed this up, and we encountered this guy. I actually can't remember if we killed that one, I don't think we did. Yeah, we didn't kill that one. That was an F-100. Now, one of my friends is going after a LA-15, I believe. And at this point in the game, he let me know. We were in Discord, so you won't know that. Uh, but he let me know, and so... I start looking for that guy. I told him to mark his location on the map a few times uh, so I could find him. That's a saber right there. And we missed. But that's him. Uh, that was the LA 15, that, or not the LA 15, that was actually a yak. Actually, no, I don't think that was him. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to remember the game as, uh, as I'm watching the replay. That's him right there. Yeah, that was him. There was a Yak-15 and he was behind him. So I went back and I tried to save him out of that one. That's him right there. I missed a few times. Uh, it's very, very hard to kill slow planes when you're super fast. You have such a little amount of time to, to, to target. And missile away. And impact. That was a very sweet kill. Very satisfying. That was the third kill of the game. Just like that, we 
kept on searching for targets. But notice how I'm being careful. I'm staying on the edges as much as I can. This time I went right through the center because I was already at the edge of the map. Uh, that guy up there, it was actually F-100 Super Saber, but I couldn't tell from the far distance and the clouds. So I, I just climbed up to him and I confirmed that he was a Super Saber. And at this point, I noticed that guy in front of us. That guy right there. I noticed him and I'm going straight for him. But, I saw someone else. I saw that guy. That guy right there. Right? And, what do I do? My favorite method of execution. One of those pistols. Easy kill, fourth kill, that was very fast, uh, quick, clean, and we killed him and we ran out of there as soon as we could. Uh, at this point, I was going sort of slow. This is 507 knots. It's not, it's not really slow, but considering there could be a MiG-19 PT without me knowing, uh, it was slow. You need to stay supersonic as much as you can. Uh, nothing really happens in this patch of time right now, uh, but at this point in the game, we start realizing that the enemy is actually killing a lot of uh, a lot of our ground units. So what we do is we start to look for them. We look for the guys that are killing the ground units. My friend and I. Uh, I have to land to rearm, so I I went to rearm and then. You see how badly we're losing? So the guys in the team were already telling us, hey, you know, uh, go and kill. Actually, let's see if I can pull that up right now so you guys can see. Chat. We need to kill the vehicles. See, this guy was telling us that we needed to kill the vehicles. And uh, at that point, I was actually going to land and I was going to take anti-ground ammunition. But I ended up not doing that, and I ended up just sticking with my missiles, and I should have taken some anti-ground stuff, because I ended up not using the missiles at all, I believe. Uh, so, let's take off, and basically what I decided to do is, I noticed that uh, there's a guy, a MiG-19, I mean, not a MiG-19, a MiG-9, excuse me, a MiG-9, who is uh, destroying these ground vehicles. And I know that he's destroying the ground vehicle, so I'm looking over here at the map. And I know that he's somewhere around this area because he's killing them. And just like that, you see how I'm turning? See that point right there? Where my mouse is? That's him right there. Uh, I believe that is him. Yeah, this guy right here. That's him. So, I found him. And at that point, oh, I did use a missile. I fired that missile just in case that he flew straight and I got a chance to hit him, but he didn't. I didn't really care about that missile. I missed those rounds. And I know that there are probably no MiG-19 PTs because we have, by this point, we have killed everybody in the server more than one time. So by now, there is not going to be, that's my friend over there, by the way. He's trying to kill him as well. Uh, at this time, you know, there's not going to be any MiGs, uh, other than this MiG-9, and by that I meant the MiG-9 PT. So, we get into a little dogfight, I'm slowing down, I said screw it, I dump all my energy, and... What happens here? That was a little bit off of uh, the screen, uh, but yeah, when I actually was in the simulator, that was dead on in the center of that plane. He almost got me with those rounds after I blew him up. Uh, we can see that kill feed right here. Shot down uh, the big nine. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, five kills right there. And that's pretty much all we did that game. Uh, we didn't do anything else. Uh, I believe we ended up losing the game. Yeah, that was me trying to strike uh, the ground targets. Uh, at this point, everybody's trying to kill them so that we can win the game. But if I remember correctly, we ended up losing. We ended up not winning this game. Uh, I did everything I could <laughs> to try to find the ground targets, but the problem was that if you look at the weather in the game at the time, uh, it was very hard to see 
anything in the ground. It's hard to make it out because of um, it's dark. You know, it's just dark. Like the ground is dark. The, the vehicles are blending in twice as uh, as good as they normally would. So I'm kind of estimating where they are and shooting my guns. Um, aside from that, there's really not much else going on in this game. Uh, at the end, some guy came in with a bomber, I think, and he started bombing the bases, and yeah, we lost. But that was a pretty interesting game. I got a couple of interesting kills. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's going to be a wrap-up for today. Thank you guys, uh, and I will see you in the next video.